Hello everybody and welcome, this is Common and Cam. In today's video, we are going to be ranking everybody's favourite big bot gorilla, Optimus Primal. Well, that's just prime. Come on and Cam, you, do you know how long I have waited for you to cover Optimus Primal? I know, I know, Mr. Chalk. I should have done it a long time ago. But now's the perfect timing for it. I think we both know that my original Primal belongs in the highest tier. Don't worry, sir. Your Octopus Primal will definitely be in the highest tier, without a doubt. You promise? Oh, I promise, Mr. Chalk. Cross my heart, monkey to die. Well, with that settled, let's dive straight into the other tier names. The first one up is obviously... Well, that's just prime. Big butt. Or other ones, uh... Man, oh man, don't tell me you're gonna... You do know that was crazy. Sometimes, Sometimes crazy, crazy works. works. Now for the middle tier, we'll pull a quote from the upcoming Transformers Rise of the Beast movie. Stand down! I'm not the one to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. And now for the second worst tier, we'll have a quote from Machinima's Power of the Primes. You need to leave here, now. You definitely share his ability to piss me off. This is your final warning. Be gone or die. And now finally for the worst tier, of course it just had to be, Destiny and honor speech. Speech this. Now let's kick off where it all began. Optimus Primal as a bat. Ugh, thank God they changed it. So originally this was meant to be Optimus Prime from G1 just in the future, but thankfully the cartoon retconned that and he was a monkey instead. Yeah, I hate this design. It's not appealing at all. If they actually went with this for the show, I think the show wouldn't have been as good. This immediately goes in Be Gone or Die. It doesn't really scream leader or commander to me. It just gives me henchman vibes and thank God they changed it because the design we eventually got was 10 times better. And let's move on to that iconic design, the original Season 1 Optimus Primal. You know, both the box art, the cartoon model, and the toy are actually pretty solid. I'm going to rank them all together in the highest tier. Well, that's just Prime, because obviously, the similarities, of course, to the original Optimus Prime, but then also making it his own with the mouth plate and everything, and of course, obviously the fur. Obviously, the cartoon didn't really have fur, they didn't have all that detail for that. But regardless, what a good design. It's not overly complicated. I love the chest plate in the middle and the gorilla mode is just iconic. Now I've never understood the criticism of not being able to watch the Beast Wars cartoon because of the animation style. Yes, it's outdated, but it's not unbearable to me. I actually find it kind of retro and sort of charming in some areas. Like they did really good at the time. Say it was like 1996 or whatever. Like it was actually pretty groundbreaking for television to have CGI cartoons and that. So I think they actually did a pretty good job and I, I have no visual complaints about it. But what do you think about Optimus Primal's design, Mr. Gary Chalk? No, not you, Gary. The Optimus Gary. I actually loved the design of, of Optimus Primal. When I first saw it, when they showed me the first toy, I was completely taken aback because this was the, the first robot that converted into an animal and back. And I think this was pretty iconic because it was also the first... CGI uh, Transformers. The stories to me were, were quite wonderful, quite personal. And I loved the characters because they were endowed with human qualities. They also had human weaknesses and human strengths. And uh, the, the way that we operated as a team and the dialogue that we got was pretty, pretty marvelous. I was particularly taken in one great scene with the death of Dinobot. It was just like pure Shakespeare, I thought. Um, it was just wonderful. I think that's one of the main reasons that I liked the character and I liked the, um, the way it was done. 
and rightfully so, this design belongs in the highest tier. Now let's move on to Beast Wars Season 2 Optimus Prime. Now this was in the Transmetal toy line that was brought into Season 2 of the series. Now I gotta admit, when I first watched Season 2, I did not love this design. I missed the Season 1 design so much. It's just very jarring, you know, at first glance. You know, you've got a blue gorilla with two maces on a hoverboard. It's, it's definitely out there. It's very loud in its monkey mode. But the robot mode, I've actually grown to really like it over the years. And over the years, I've actually grown to really like the monkey mode as well, just because it's so jarring and just so wacky and bizarre. And I've kind of found a bit of a love for it. Um, I don't think it belongs in the highest tier, but eh, you know, sometimes crazy does work. And now for the third season, we have Optimal Optimus, where we got a super class upgrade. He's got four modes now. It's not really the jet mode I care about. It's it's obviously the both monkey and robot mode that combined with it. He's a giant now, which, you know, for the show, it was like, okay, it's time for his big upgrade. But this, he towered over it everybody but it's so badass at the same time it ironically works like the orange there mixed in with the blue the head design is probably the best part about this for me just because it's got like a massive upgrade to it but yeah this is a full arsenal this is no longer a monkey in disguise this is god the entire animal kingdom is going to be terrified of this guy now if you thought season two was crazy season three got even crazier and you know it works now we're going to talk about the way how he's drawn, because he went full anime in his guest appearance in the Beast Wars second cartoon. We got Burning Convoy, and of course his original season 1 design, like wow. Like if we had the original Beast Wars cartoon in this style, I think I would have loved it either way, both cell animated or CGI. Now I didn't really think I'd hit it off with all the red, but actually mixed in with the yellow there, the gold, it just makes this design look even more badass, like wow, okay, stay back because <laughs> you're gonna get burnt kids. And well, that's just Prime. I also really enjoy the Universe 2003 colours here. This design looks really, really cool. I'm not a big fan of the marks on the gorilla's face, but I gotta say that yellow and red mixed in with those kind of dark green colours and brown, it really blends really well together. This is like a stealth looking kind of like colours for Octopus Primal if he's going hunting or something. Now let's move on to the controversial Beast Machines version of Optimus Primal, and I don't see how this is controversial. I actually really like this design, and you can tell that the upcoming Transformers Rise of the Beast movie took inspiration from this design. Now the Gorilla mode is pretty jarring at first, and but I think the robot mode actually works really well. The only thing I would have loved for a little bit of a change of would be the head design. Probably put those antennas back. But besides from that, I, I actually really dig it. Like I love the slimness and the kind of like the, the bigger muscle parts in some areas and obviously the thin legs. You know, it, it's definitely all strength in his arms. And I think the toy goes in hand with this as well. Well, the eventual toy. It wasn't released straight away, unfortunately. It would be released during the Robots in Disguise toy line instead of its actual own Beast Machine design. But I've always wanted to get my hands on this toy because this looks really cool. And it actually does transform, unlike how it does in the show. So yeah, I really like this. And the toy really accompanies this design really well. But if we had to talk about the first toy that came out for Beast Machine's Octopus Primal, yeah, it, um, not very good. Obviously, the colouring is way different to what we eventually got. This was just, like, the sort of concept stages, so these were different ideas they had for it. This is a deluxe class, and this is ugly as hell. Like, wow, this is, yeah, I'm, I hope nobody bought this for their kids. This is an absolute abomination of a design, and the head design as well, it looks even more fuggish. Ugh. Immediately, speech this. I mean, I guess there was kind of an improvement with the Blast Punch Optimus Primal, the Mega Class that would come not long after it, but the colours on that is still... Ooh, at least they got the figure in, right? They got the, they, they got the aesthetic, they got the look like, but the colours on that is... Ooh, no, the, the orange on that is too much, too loud. I gotta say, uh, there's a darkness coming. And here it is. This is the Year of the Monkey exclusive Optimus Primal edition. This is just the Air Attack Optimus Primal with G1 Prime colours slapped on it, for reasons I don't know why, but it doesn't work at all. Bearing in mind, this was $140, and it's labelled Platinum. Now, something I would have spent $140 on is the Happy Meals Peace Machines toy. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Um, 
I mean, at least they tried back then, I guess. Happy Meal toys are not the same as they used to be, but this, <laughs> no. No, thank you. Ugh, go away. Oh, and we also have this Microverse Optimus Primal. Um, yeah, this is... Someone please kill it. Next up, we have the unused concept art of Beast Machine's Optimus Primal. This is like his kind of hyper mode. You know, it's like Sonic's hyper mode and this is Optimus Primal's. I really dig the silver, but the face on the gorilla mode is terrifying. I'm glad they didn't go with this color. I mean, I really like the robot mode, but that's only because it's so similar to what we eventually got anyway. It would have been cool if maybe in the series that he would have had this like hyper scene moment and he would have had those colors very briefly. But if he had to have those colors throughout the entire series, yeah, no, no way. I think just because of how kind of evil it looks, it belongs in the middle tier. Another thing that looks evil is the Kybeas Beast Wars gum line of Octopus Primal, which is a line of candy toys. This is obviously based on the original Ultra Class Gorilla toy, but uh, yeah, no, the purple does, I mean it would, it's just, it just doesn't look good on this toy um, all that much, and that monkey mode especially. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, um, I'm not really a big fan of this. Be gone or die, monkey. Another thing that needs to die is this poor excuse of an Octopus Primal toy. This is the Binotech Black Convoy that was repurposed as Octopus Primal. Yeah, this is, I'm not going to waste my breath on this. This immediately goes in the worst tier. Now let's talk about something interesting. This is Dawn of Futures Past, the Botcon exclusive Octopus Primal, where we'll talk about his younger years, where he would have his own Cybertronian mode. Now this is a retool slash redeco of the Voyager class Crumple Zone from the Transformers Cybertron series, but I think it really works as Optimus Primal here. And the way how it's drawn, especially in the comics, really helps. It looks a lot better in the comic than it actually does on the toy, but still nonetheless, this is actually unique. I've always wanted to see what Optimus Primal would look like before the Beast Wars, and this is cool. I, I can see this. It's plausible. Obviously, the giant cannons on the back. Of course, it's just Crumple Zone, but I, they do a really good redeco here. Usually, I would knock it just because of that, but they do enough to make it look uniquely different, and I like it. it suits him better than the original Crumple Zone. Now let's talk about the United Optimus Primal design that was in celebration of the 10th anniversary of Beast Wars. And, okay, um, it kind of combines elements from the Season 2 with the hoverboard there. Of course, we got the Cyber Planet key there as well. The grey is the worst part about this, I think. It's not bad of a design it's like a modern sort of take on the original season one which i like and the head design is actually really cool but the gorilla mode eh, it's an easy pass it's like they've combined the trans metal and i just don't think the fusion really works the colors here just look really off um, but i don't think it's the worst thing i just think there's a darkness coming now nothing darkness here just something sad we have the 3d battle cars on Spurs primal you know, I gotta stop talking about these 3D battle cards because they're all gonna go in the same place. <laughs> Eventually, I'm just gonna stop talking about these all together because it's just repeating myself. I'm, I'm really sorry, okay, if you collect these. It's not a dig at you, just for cardboard. Now let's talk about another hyper mode. We have the Metal Monument Convoy, the original Optimus Primal Season 1 design, but really modernized. This looks really cool. It's a shame that it's all silver. I would have loved to have seen more in-depth paint details on this. The chest area has been completely reworked while being similar at the same time. It looks absolutely badass. Yeah, yeah, really get rid of the silver. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put it in the middle tier. There's a darkness coming just because... Unfortunately, the color just ruins it, but the design overall looks really good. I think this goes next to his other hyper mode. Oh, hey, would you look at that? The tier list is even. I don't think this has ever happened before. Oh, huh, that's refreshing. All right, next up, we have the Machinima Power of the Primes Octopus Primal, how he appeared in the cartoon. Of course, his toy doesn't look quite how he does in the show. Now, yes, it's the original season one design, and I do like it, but it's got the proportions of, like... The Beast Machines Optimus Primal, and with this design, I just don't think it works all that much. They've changed up some things. Of course, this was kind of like, oh wow, at the time, because, well, he's got fur now. You know, this is the first time he's actually had fur, because obviously the original didn't. But it, there's something about the proportions. If it looked a bit similar like the toy, if they kind of made it look more like the toy, I think I would have probably liked it just a little bit more. It kind of gives me fake body kind of vibes. It's like he's kind of injecting himself with some steroids or something really off for some reason. 
Like, you can see how it leads into the torso. Like, I think the head design is cool and all that. You know, it's very similar to what we know. But at the same time, it can't help itself but just be way too different proportion-wise. I think it's just the way how it's animated. Because the actual artwork for this is absolutely amazing. Like, this is the best-looking Optimus Primal. Like, this is absolutely crazy, and it works. Next up, we've got the Optimal Optimus Power of the Primes, and it's basically just the same as the Season 3 original. Um, nothing really changed there. We've just got a better toy of it. And yeah, I like it. It looks cool. I think it goes next to its original counterpart. Now, something that is different that I didn't expect that I would like, it is the Throne of the Primes version of the Optimal Optimus in the original Season 1 colors. This surprisingly works. I had never thought about that before. This looks really good. It comes with the Matrix as well. And this throne looks so badass. Like the concept art as well for it looks really good. But the colors of the original really work for this. It's just like, wow, okay. It kind of makes me hope we got those original colors in the original season three series of the show. And the fact that this is armor as well for the original version of Optimus Primal as well is pretty cool. And I think it would have been better if we saw this in the Mission of the series instead of what we got, because it really balances itself on what we're familiar with while being something refreshing at the same time. It appears that thrones are for the Decepticons and also for Optimus Primal. Okay, now let's move on to video games and we have the Earth Wars Optimus Primal and wow, this looks absolutely badass. This was what I was talking about earlier the reasons why I felt like the proportions on the power of the primes felt so off, but this manages to balance it out where he looks brutal. He looks tough, but it doesn't look weird, like it doesn't look like it's on steroids. And the gorilla mode as well looks really badass. I love the antennas as well. I like it. This monkey is prepared for battle. And yeah, he just looks really badass. He looks really armored up. And this is actually the first time I've really praised an Earth Wars design. I think this looks really good. And it complements it with the Forge to Fight one as well. Because that is essentially what the Power of the Primes Optimus Primal should have been. This looks muscular. It, nothing feels off proportion wise. It feels like he's built for battle. And he looks tough. And he's a force to be reckoned with. Like this looks really cool. The way how it's animated as well in the game looks really cool. What I don't like, however, is how they didn't do anything with the Optimal Optimus version. They could have made it sort of 10 times cooler and badass than what it already was, but they just took the design from the original, and that's it. Like, okay, whatever. Now let's look at this cutie little guy. This is the cutie one Optimus Primal, and yeah, he looks adorable. Bless him. I mean, he's got a little zip on his mouth there, which is like, uh, okay, that's probably the one part I would love to get rid of, but this is cute. This is cool. This is crazy, and it works. He looks crazy, oh my god. And this dude looks insane. Oh my god, this is the Robot Heroes. And apparently this was unreleased. Yeah, I can see why. Let this guy out of the cage, and uh, you got something crawling up your ass. Be gone or die, monkey. Now let's talk about the 2021 IDW Beast Wars comic. The artwork here is by Josh Bircham. And just, wow, I've praised this guy so many times before. I love his unique art style, and I was so happy when we got a new Beast Wars comic, and it was going to be done by him. Like, wow, all of these designs really look good here. Just taking back what made the Season 1 design so great, but just overly stylizing it in this animated kind of style, and I really love it. I love how sharp he looks, with the antennas really being pointy. So badass, that's just prime. And something else that is badass, it is the Prime 1 Studio Optimus Primal Statue. Wow. Uh, that, this is incredible. I would love to own this. It's so expensive, as it should be. I mean, look at this beast of a design. It looks really cool. Taking that original Season 1, but stylizing it so well, so unique. I wasn't originally going to put this on the list just because, well, it is basically just for season one design, but just in this kind of like hyper detailed way, like how Prime 1 Studios always do with their incredible work. But I felt like it deserved it because, well, when you search Optimus Prime, well, this is one of the first images that comes up. Poor Waspinado. Someone lend him a hand or a body part or anything. Next up, we have a third-party Optimus Primal design. This is the Generation Toys GT10 Optimus Primal, and he looks amazing. There's so much detail in the robot mode. It looks really cool, really over-stylized. It's kind of got this mecha vibe, you know? It's kind of like, wait, does this actually turn into a gorilla? And then you see the gorilla mode, and 
This is where my problems lie. I really don't like this gorilla mode. It looks cool body wise, but the head is really off putting for me. So I've decided to separate this where the robot mode goes in the highest tier and the gorilla face, eh, not so much. I'm afraid there's a darkness coming when you look at that face. Okay, now let's look at another third party Optimus Primal. This is the Ferrari Action Optimus Primal looking absolutely robust than before like wow i love the fur details on that and i love those proportions they, they really blend in well with each other i don't believe this transforms i think this is just obviously a non-transforming optimus primal which is kind of a shame but the cannons on the back look really really cool but but the chest area so wide and broad and as well this is definitely like a mecha anime style of octopus primal and his head mode looks badass that's the best thing i like about this design is the head it looks so stylized such a unique way yeah this is what i was talking about this is how it should have looked instead of a machinima version something that we're familiar with but then something that is uniquely different at the same time now for something that is completely different from everything on this tier list something that is not even familiar at all to the original Optimus primal design this is a mutated one exposed by the ori 11 this was in the Unicron storyline. He looks completely different, but I love the fact that it's like an open skeleton of sorts because you can see here he's got four arms, like the gorilla arms, and obviously his main arms at the front. That's kind of badass. Now I am rating this on design wise. I do love that the fur, like, or the coat of the gorilla becomes like a completely own function like it works on its own it's really scary actually this is the most terrifying i think Optimus primal has ever legitimately looked oh oh my god that's too scary let's give me something else give me something that's cuter ah oh, okay there we go we have the manga legends Optimus primal yeah he belongs in the top tier just because look at him he's he's a good boy good monkey now let's dive into some recent Optimus primals this is him in kingdom and overall, I like it. The way how it was animated in the show, this is how Machinima should have done it if they wanted to keep true to the original. Now, yeah, it is basically the same as the original and that could be seen as a negative, but I think it works really well. I wasn't a big fan of how he was portrayed in the show. It was better than most characters, but at the same time, the design really slaps with me. I really like it. They make these subtle little changes that make it at least a little bit unique. And the fur as well looks really, really good. Yeah. I like it. This actually is a pretty cool modern take of that original season 1 design. So yeah. Now let's talk about the live action versions of Optimus Primal. Yes, he's had more than one. We have the original unused concept art of his appearance in Transformers for Last Night. And everybody for years was obsessed with this design, myself included, because it just looks so badass. But I can't give it so much of a high praise because there's no colour on it and it's basically the final hyper mode version on this tier list. I like the face sculpt, even though it is a bit too similar to Optimus Prime, I like it. Now it's kind of alluded in this concept art that he wasn't going to actually have a robot mode, he was just going to be like this in the film, like this would have been the concept, that's why the head looks like that. Which I would not have been on board with, I think gorilla mode and robot mode have to go together, because that's what Transformers is. Whether that's true or not, we don't actually know because this concept was never fully realised, but it's not that much different from what we eventually would get anyway, just little subtle changes such as the fur being added and all that kind of stuff, because obviously it's a gorilla, well it's supposed to be a gorilla in disguise, a giant ass gorilla. But now let's move on to Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal. Now I've decided to split the robot mode and the gorilla mode. And it's going to sound a little bit confusing why, but here's what I have to say about it. I love the gorilla mode because obviously as a gorilla, it should be like a silverback gorilla. It should be in its colors so it could look like a disguised gorilla. But then the robot mode, uh, where's the color on this? Like how the original Optimus Primal Season 1 design where he would open up in his robot mode, we would see the color. But there's just no color on it. And I don't want to knock this down, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to because... It just looks really dull, but I love the body. I love the design, I love the face. I love everything about the look of the design. It's just the colors just are really a big miss for me. I'm still excited either way. I think it looks cool and badass. I really like how they combined both the Beast Wars and the Beast Machines. Like you can see Beast Machines Octopus in this design without a doubt. But yeah, the color on it, I would have loved that iconic, you know, blue and red mixed in there with a little bit of white as well. But it's just kind of this gold-ish color uh, mixed in with the black bear. It, it just, uh, I, I wish he would have opened up a little bit more where we could have seen a bit more color on it. And I think it would have looked a lot better 
uh, if they did it like that. Now let's check out the iconic mask <laughs> of this film. Oh, I had to include this. It just became such a meme. Oh no, please don't buy your kids this. This looks terrifying. Now it's time to pay tribute to all the great fan art of Optimus Primal out there. Let's start off with Dio Vega with his interpretation of Optimus Primal. And wow, this looks absolutely badass. It's like a cross between Transformers Prime, but then at the same time movie kind of style. This is what I was talking about. It's very similar actually to the Optimus Primal in Rise of the Beast, but this is what I'm talking about when it's, it comes to color. If colors like this were on that design, it would just make it look so much better. And this artist here definitely knew that this Optimus Primal needed color. And this is the kind of color I'm talking about. It's very familiar from what we all know, but it's so uniquely different at the same time. He just looks absolutely badass. So props to Dio Vega there. Oh, just fantastic artwork. He always does great stuff. Okay, now let's talk about a Transformers animated inspired design by Alter, who does a completely unique take on Optimus Primal, and I love it. I love how different it is. It's, it's probably something very similar to what Derek would actually do. Like, I would love to have seen this in the show. The face could probably be a hit or miss for some people, but I really like it. Like, that's why I like it so much, because it is something unique, yet something familiar. And he's done different color versions of it as well. And I love the gorilla hands, how very similar they are to obviously how we saw the gorilla in that one episode of Transformers Animated. Now we did get an Optimus Primal design from Transformers Animated in the name of Primal Major. This art was done by Bill Forrester for the Transformers Animated All Spot 2. And I gotta say, I'm not really feeling this one here. He looks very smug and I don't like that. But if you want a more season one TFA inspired design, look no further than a good friend of mine, Glorious720P, Alex, he did a great job here on this design of Octopus Primal. Very much inspired from season one, but just stylized a lot more. And the head design is actually taken from a sketch that Derek Jawai did of his version of Octopus Primal. And I think Alex really got the body proportions just right here. And this artwork was elevated to another level when it was in Keenan Carlyle's Transformers Animated Season 4, What Could Have Been. There was a scrapped episode plan called Truck vs Monkey. And to picture how this episode could have looked, he got commissioned art piece by Destron, another talented artist, to place Alex's Optimus Primal design in a setting of how what the episode could have potentially looked like. Just looks so cool, I wish we got that episode. Now we've got another art piece by Ryan Miller, his concept of Optimus Primal, and he has a huge ass sword, but I really like this style. Like I said, it's taken my original, but just revamping it in such a uniquely different way and everything about this slaps you can tell he worked really hard on this it looks really cool i hope we get a toy of this somewhere in the future an inspired design of a toy just like this and to save the best for last we have the wonderful mesopius's interpretation of optimus primal this looks epic it's like a cybertronian-esque mode instead of like a gorilla mode but still i really like what they've done here I love the cannons on the back of his shoulders. It just looks, wow, just so amazing. This is how he looks next to Beast Wars Megatron as well. I had to throw that in there because this is a hell of a design as well. They really look good side by side with each other. It's like Transformers Animated and Megatron size chart vibes. And I really like it. It looks so cool together. I hope that this artist in the future does like little vehicle modes and say beast modes in this case of their robot designs. I would love to see their interpretation of these vehicle modes and what they actually transform into. I would love to see their Cybertronian vehicle modes really be brought to life. All links to these talented artists will be found in the description box below. So there we have it guys, every Optimus Primal design ranked from worst to best. Of course I much prefer the original season 1 design. I think it's just so simple yet so cool at the same time when it opens up into its robot mode. And while it actually feels like a monkey in disguise. It's really good to see Optimus Primal being brought back into the limelight with Transformers Media. I never thought I'd see the day where Optimus Primal is featured in the movies. I hope with the next set of Transformers movies, if Optimus Primal is going to be a main character throughout them, that well they look back on that season 1 design and add more colour to him, because it's the original and it's the best. The keys to the future lie buried in the past. Yep, you've said it Gary. For more videos just like this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and click that notification bell to get all updates instantly. I'd like to thank the wonderful Mr Gary Chalk for being in this video, as someone who grew up with your Optimus Prime sir, this is pretty cool. So I'd just like to say to you, Cam, thank you for having me on, and until next time, 
Maximals, maximize! Okay. That was pretty epic. <laughs>